All right, guys, what's up? Uh, Blue Cyric here. All right, today I'm going to show you how to use a MIDI controller with Sony Vegas. The version I'm currently using is Sony Vegas Pro 12.0. I'm not sure if this works with newer versions or older versions, but I would assume they would since I don't think much has actually changed. So, yeah, to start, you're gonna need Sony Vegas. Uh, and second, you're going to need a MIDI controller. And, and the one I'm going to be currently using is the Novation Launch Control. Uh, you can pick these up online, I think, for about $80 to $100, something like that. Anyway, so first what we're going to do is we're going to go to Options, and we're going to select External Control. Uh, what this allows you to do is use exactly what it says, External Control for uh, any Sony Vegas function. So we're just going to select that, and then as you can see, it is selected. Now we're going to go to Preferences, and here's the Preferences window. Uh, all we're going to do is jump over to MIDI. Now, I already have the drivers installed for my launch control. Um, I'm sure uh, your MIDI control has drivers as well, and it should appear in this list. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to select it, and then we're going to click Apply. Okay. Now, the next tab we're going to go to is External Control and Automation. Now, this is where you're actually going to be programming all your buttons. Um, to use with all the functions that you want for each key and for Sony Vegas. So, so what we're going to do, unless you already have like a Mac key controller, transport driver, or PreSonus Vega port driver, you can just use these. But, but since but since I have a Innovation Launch Control, we're just going to click Generic Control, and then we're going to click Add. So as you can see, it says Generic Control Template New Years and Map because we're going to be creating that map and status one controllable channels so now we're going to right click and then click configure and this is where we're going to actually do all the fun stuff so so as you can see this is where all the functions are going to be for for all of the um, for all the commands and stuff like that that you can hook up to your controller um, this is just an example, so we have channel down, channel up, channel bank down, channel bank up, master fader, mute, solo, you know, that kind of stuff. And there's a ton of different categories where you, where you can pick um, for, any kind of, uh, for any kind of control that you want. Okay, so just for an example, we'll go to, I don't know, let's go to audio channels. So as you can see, we have channel one fader, pan, pan rear, center, send, R for record. So these are all stuff that you can program to buttons and um, and faders. So, but because my my launch control has eight different functions, as you can see right here, we are going to change the number of channels to eight. Now, obviously, it's going to vary on each MIDI controller and how many channels you actually have. But in my case, I have eight. So as you can see, now we have all these different options for for channels and different functions. So let's say I wanted to go to, I don't know, let's, uh, no, tools isn't a very good one. Let's go to project. Let's say I wanted to create a new project just by pushing a button. I can do that by first we're, so first what we're gonna do is we're going to select it. So, so right now it's highlighted. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click learn. Now, as soon as I push the button on my launch control, it gave um, it gave us some input. Um, you know, as you can see, the MIDI message has uh, the channel has been put on. Note on MIDI data is nine A zero. So, but maybe I wanted something else. Maybe I wanted to use it as button number two on my controller. I can do that. So, as you can see, it changed from from nine A zero to ten A hashtag zero or A pound zero. As you can see, see it, and then I can switch between the two. So what this allows you to do is you're able to choose any kinds, you're able to configure any kind of function to each button. Yes, yeah, so let's keep on messing around with this a little bit more. We're just gonna reset this. Let's say I wanted to go over to track view. So let's say I wanted to change, let's say I wanted to be able to zoom in and zoom out. Well, I can do that. Let's say I just push button one or make sure, make sure learn is checked, is check marked. And then let's push button one. As you can see, it gave us a value. And then zoom out. 
Let's make that button number two on my controller. And, and now let's just go back to OK. Click OK. And now, as you can see, whenever I push these buttons, I can zoom in and out. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we'll just go back to preferences here. And we will go ahead and go back to configuring. And I'm just going to reset all just for the sake of the tutorial. All right. So now what's really cool about this is that you can, you can make different user maps and stuff like that. So I already have one. I already have one uh, made for myself. Uh, it's just editing XML. It just saves it in an XML format. And I'm just going to open it. And what I can do is uh, I'll have this. Um, I'll have the link to this file in the description. This is what I use for editing. If you guys have a launch control um, and just want one that's already made, then you can just go ahead and pop it in there. And and now we'll just and then we'll just click OK. And what I can do now is say I wanted to play the video. All I have to do is push one. If I want to stop it, I can push two. If I want to pause it, I can push three. Um, Let's say I wanted to render, render the video with just one button. I can press seven. As you can see, it'll just open up. I don't know why that's not loading because it's just being annoying. Um, no, it's because I don't have anything in the timeline. Anyway, um, or maybe I just wanted to save the project. I can push that by pushing eight. So this is really, really useful if you just want to find a quick, in, you know, if you want to maybe speed up your editing, um, you know, let's say, you know, really complicated functions like, um, what's a good example? Maybe if you wanted to add like an event effects or something like that, but just the push of a button, you can do that with a MIDI controller. Um, another example would be like the master, uh, would be like, yeah, it would be like the master volume. So as you can see, I can change that. Uh, and yeah, you, and you can program them to pretty much any buttons. You can program, you know, like, um, you know, you can program these uh, switches to like, uh, you know, a different audio tracks. I just don't have them hooked up right now. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. It's actually really, really simple. Um, if you like this video, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, yeah, just like, subscribe, do all that stuff, or you know, whatever people are doing these days. And um, and yeah, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.